My name is Dr. Lizzie Burns. I've been creating the viruses and vaccines resources. I'm going to show you how to make your own antibody. Now your body is extraordinary. It makes antibodies all the time. They're tiny proteins in your body that can recognize any invaders. So things like viruses. And here is your own origami one that you can fold and make. So they sort of have two arms like this and a body down below and it's the end of the arms that can recognize and attach to something like a virus so for example maybe this coronavirus here is will tuck in between the very right tip of the arm there so i am going to show you how to fold your very own if you already have a sheet then do print that out um, if you're able to print it out. If you're not able to print it out, don't worry. I can show you how to fold a square and you can maybe draw on your own antibody. It'll be the right shape anyway. So grab yourself something to press on. And yeah, let's get making our own antibodies. And this is what will protect you from disease. And we'll also find out how you can make your own vaccine as well. So all of this with just origami. So I'm going to direct this down. So I have, you can cut out from the resources that page, or if you haven't got a printer, then to make a square, all you do is take a piece of paper and bring it over in a straight line like this, right the way through that tip nice and exact there we go good strong fold and you have a little rectangle here if you turn it over bring it back line it up nicely just take your time and origami is something you can do to relax look after your well-being which we're all having to do I think very much over this time and we can then you can do a little tiny like so and tear that off so now you've you've got a nice big square there which you can use in just the same way as the square i'm going to fold from so this is from the sheet any square will do so you've already made your square so i'm gonna now go over to the sheet and show you how to fold it into an antibody here it goes. So this actually is a uh, based on a traditional piece of origami, um, and it's kind of like a vase, and I've I've adapted it. So I'm putting it now on the plain side, and I'm folding it to make a rectangle, folding it to match up each side. And in a way, protein is what your body's made of so much, is a little bit like origami. There. It's the way that they fold up that makes their structure and shape and how they work. All pretty amazing. We're going to take the outside and fold it to that middle line like so. There we go. So you're starting to see the picture emerge as well. Like so. And then the other bottom line to the middle. There we go. So it should look like this. Now our next step is just to simply fold it in half, like so. Good strong fold is the folds that give it the strength. So it's also rather relaxing adding these folds in. And we're going to take the top and bring it to the middle. So we're going to again fold it in half. So we're making this smaller and smaller. There we go. And the bottom same thing bring it to the middle so you'll end up with what looks like a nice little neat neat square looking like interesting pictures already that's it right the next step or oh, starts to get interesting we're going to open just one side and we're going to fold effectively a diagonal line there and there i'll show you down on a solid surface here so i'm gonna all closed up just opening with just one side and i'm going to take this side and i'm going to line up there which will give me a diagonal line so take your time so it was like that opened it up and i lined it up here take your time and i'm adding that nice fold there 
and I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to take this side and bring it down to there, like so. So can you see we've added those diagonal lines? So you can actually push it down now. It looks a little bit like a little house. There we go. Make sure it's nicely through those tips. Again, don't be afraid to give good strong folds. You can always refold it if it's not in the right position, but it makes it all work so much better if you've got things nice and strong. Right, and we're going to do the same for the other side. So I'm opening up this flap and I'm going to take this side and bring it down to there. Again, what I'm doing is I'm adding a diagonal line. There we go. Same thing on the other side. Lifting it up and bringing it down there. Nice and exact. Take your time. You can always pause on the video. You can slow things down. I'll probably sound a bit strange if we do that, but that's all right. <laughs> there we go. So again, I can push it down and it should be looking something like this. Make sure you get rid of any kind of wrinkles. It's all nice and sharp. There we go. Right, next step. So, oh, we're going to go for a nice little change here. So I am going to, let me see how to explain this. I am <laughs> going to change the direction of it now. Well, maybe if you lift up the flaps, you can see it looks a bit like a windmill now. Yep, so I'm lifting those up. You can just fold back along those lines so they stick up. There we go. And all we're going to do is we're going to fold it as a diagonal line. So just pushing it down. Can you see it's just changed it? So it was that nice little what looked like a little windmill and then you can push it back and it's formed this shape now which way around should it all be and it's one of those things that I'm having to look at too ha ah, I can see it's not matching up well this is quite good because it's showing showing me it's not obvious is it so I've gone that diagonal line I'm now going to experiment and try the other diagonal line and I've pushed it down that looks better so there is one direction that's the wrong direction and one that's the correct one what you want to do is so it comes together that picture that y-shaped antibody so if it's not coming together try the other diagonal it's good that i found out that it can go the wrong way there we go so this shape actually is a sort of traditional piece of origami so it's like a little vase but we're going to adapt it so it looks more like an antibody so at the moment down here, make sure you've got it so it really does look like an antibody on both sides. Hopefully the pictures come together. I would recommend definitely the colouring in at the end of it because you can't tell what matches which side, can you? So we're going to first of all get rid of this bit sticking out. That doesn't look like a real antibody. So I'm going to take this corner and fold it there like so. Oh, I'm going to have to bring this down so I can see what I'm doing and hopefully so you can see what you're doing I can see that's a little bit out so again origami can always reposition so you're happy get it right so this corner I'm bringing there like so and the same thing for this one taking that corner and bringing it to all nicely lines up like so now at the moment these are loose little flaps so I want you to open that and then we can tuck it away. So it's this loose little flap. I'm opening it up and then I'm going to just push it in. So you should be able to push it in against the lines that you've already done. And then it should disappear. Do you see? So it was that, it was like a loose little flap was just hanging around here I opened it up at the side and the line I've just folded I'm going to then push in and that should then 
sort of flatten that side and it's the same thing here so we're again opening up and we're going to push it in along that line so you're basically tucking it away that's it and i'm just going to push that in i think when you can see what it is that you that it needs to be then you kind of get the idea more so we've got rid of the two sides now at the moment this looks a bit pointy too so i'm going to do the same thing of taking this corner and bringing it down there taking the corner and bringing it down here like so and the same thing for this one just softening those lines i can see that's slightly out so again a little repositioning it's all right taking this corner and reaching over there there we go right there is an extra little little fold we can do now uh, let's first of all let's just tuck it away as we did before so we can then open it up and just push it away right again opening it up and just pushing that down and away so it's tucked away so there we go we've got the top of the arms now at the moment nothing would really quite stay in there so i want you actually to do an extra little fold so i've opened it up and what i'm going to do is take that tip and i'm going to fold it up here and it's because the real antibodies do have a little a little sort of pocket at the top of their arms and that's where they recognize the virus can you see i folded that in there that will give me an extra little pocket where so things can stay so here we go open this up at the moment things will just slip through so i'm taking this little corner and i'm pushing it up here there we go pushing it down and that's made a little pocket like so so that means it can now hopefully stick a virus there but i want us to make a vaccine so antibodies you get more antibodies if they start sticking to something your body starts making more and more of the antibodies and that's what you want obviously you don't want to see the real virus instead if you could just make a little bit at the end then that will mean that you can start encouraging lots of antibodies so if you ever caught the real thing you would be able to get rid of it so here's like a little bit that i've made it's like the end of a spike and i can tuck it in here you see so it means it can actually stick so this is making an antibody so i'm also going to show you how to make a vaccine so we're going to make just the tip just the end of the spike now i have drawn here the very tip uh, of SARS-CoV-2, the coronavirus. Isn't it a lovely shape? It's a perfect equilateral triangle. So we're going to cut this out. I've got it upside down, haven't I? Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm going to cut this out. Now, if you don't have, um, if you can't print this out, then that's fine. I recommend just making a square and doing half and cutting that a diagonal so you're just left with a little triangle as well that will be fine it's the same kind of idea so i'm just going to quickly cut this out and i'll just show you how to fold this up because with your antibody this vaccine it means you can make you can really encourage your body to keep you nice and safe so your antibodies along with something called t cells which can also kill cells keep you nice and safe and that's what you're encouraging with with a vaccine so to fold up this one i think if we turn to the back and simply fold it in half i just want to make a little spiky structure really i'm going to fold it in half like so and then i'm going to take the outside and bring it to the middle line i'm going to have to do this now on a solid surface so bring it to the middle line like so it looks nice a bit of coloring in doesn't it so maybe you've got some pencils or pens at wherever you are you can add that little bit of color there we go and i think i'm gonna 
bring it in again so the outside again it's just the principle of making a little spike which can fit neatly into your antibody and you will be all protected at least that's the idea this is obviously origami <laughs> it's not really your body but it helps you understand your body and what happens with a vaccine okay right here goes let's see if it will fit in so here's the antibody that i've made and maybe you can color it in you've got the picture on both sides and you've got that little pocket at the end of the arm and you can just push that in so now i'm going to be making lots of antibodies and hopefully you're really protected i hope you've enjoyed that thank you